All of me compadres, Brian the Boat here, and today I have some evidence that was brought by the community, not to me, but specifically to Keemstar, that the YouTube age gate is real. Now this is a conversation that has started about two days ago about how YouTube has been implementing a system where uh, there's age groups, and if you um, are under the age of 18 and you follow a channel that has mature content, you will be unsubscribed from that channel. And they will also try to do a system that will not allow you to search that channel or even subscribe to that channel if you're under the age of 13 and if they make mature content. So what's the evidence that they have brought that I will show you? Well, here's one of the evidence that they brought. A couple of YouTubers went to an event for YouTube in London, and uh, one of these YouTubers decided it would be a funny joke if they add all their channels and all the computers. An absolute troll, right? But when they tried to do this, something kind of horrible happened. They could not find their channel. Um, when they tried to search it, they could not find any videos or even the channel itself. And they became very frustrated and scared. I mean, who wouldn't be scared when you're trying to find your own channel and you can't even find it, right? And they tried other channels as well, like Quobble Cop and PewDiePie. And wouldn't you guess they couldn't find it either? So those channels could not be found on the computers that were logged on on that um, location. And they asked an employee over there they, to ask them, hey, what's going on? So the funny thing is, and the very weird thing, is that the guy sang out of the, of the account and uh, they searched up the guy's name and wouldn't you guess, they found it. And um, the employee said that this account probably had a age restriction system on it. And the YouTuber believes that this is a test. That account is a test to see whether or not that YouTube algorithm or a program they're, they're going to try to implement will work. And it seems like it is working out for that account and for, you know, kind of filtering out mature content for that channel. Of course, this is scary because if you make mature content, which, you know, I would say be careful with what kind of content do you make, but you know, in the end of the day, you have your own freedoms, right? There's gonna be a good chance that your videos will not be recommended as well. And a new thing has been learned is that the YouTube algorithm is rating videos um, about, you know, the title, the thumbnail, and the content itself, and they're rating it by three groups. These three groups can be grouped by kid-friendly, teen friendly and mature friendly. So you could possibly find um, teen friendly videos with some mature, but you definitely won't find mature or teen friendly content on kid friendly um, channels. So if you're under the age of say 13 or 14 um, and you are trying to find a teenage friendly content, you'll probably, the good, the chances of you finding that channel, um, if this system is actually working um, you might not find it. But keep in mind that this system is not in effect yet, nor is it working on everyone's account. It is working on specific channels, only a few select channels. One big channel that has been seen, um, you know, to lose a lot of subscribers recently for a long time is Leafy is here. Now he has been losing a lot of subscribers every time he uploads, and just in general, just a lot of subscribers. He's like the top four top five or six uh, YouTubers that are using subscribers. Now, a similar YouTuber who makes kind of the same content as Leafy is called Chubbs. And instead of losing subs, he's actually gaining subs and gaining more views than his sub count. Now, you could be asking yourself, why is that? Why is Leafy making the same content as Chubbs, but Leafy suffering more than Chubbs? Well, my folks, it is one simple answer. Leafy is here is under the influence of YouTube and YouTube is trying to use the system on him So technically he is the guinea pig and so far it seems to be working while Chubbs over here is no Not affected by this because YouTube hasn't placed the rating system on Chubbs's channel So he's fine. He's in the clear a youtuber that you may know um, is sky does minecraft and um, he's very kid-friendly um, until up to this point, um, he made two mature videos and he was taken completely off the algorithm system. So for over a long time, he's been part of the algorithm uh, for a very long time because he's been making, you know, Minecraft videos, Minecraft Let's Plays, 
Um, very kid friendly. If he curses, he'll bleep it. And you know, every child will enjoy him, right? Until up to the point where he decided to make two mature videos. Not teen friendly. No, no, no. Mature videos. And those two videos right there changed the entire thing to where to the point where he was taking off the algorithm system of YouTube. Another instance, another instance that uh, that shows you that the rating system on YouTube is real is when a YouTuber had a conversation with a employee of YouTube via by email. Now in this email it said specifically for this YouTuber to not disclose the information that will be shared to him um, but basically the story goes is that he's worried that his channel is not being viewed a lot because of the rating system and he's asking you know what's going on and then the YouTube employee goes to him and says that um, your channel is um, DV-teen so that right there is a rating right there and he also goes to talk about how like there's different ratings as in kid friendly um, then you have the teen rating and then you have mature and there are things that will affect your view rating so um, if your content is mature, you're less likely to be shown in the recommended. And you know how important that is for a YouTuber to have a video that has to be in a recommended list. So this system right here is very scary for others who wish to make whatever content they want. And people, you know, um, who don't know what content they're making. What does this mean for you and for me? Well, I've already, um, I've already told you that I don't have a big, I don't have a big problem with it. Uh, because, you know, it's YouTube, they can do almost whatever they want, because if you don't like it, you can leave. But that kind of thought will lead us to a lot of problems. And my first problem was that YouTube lied to us, right? They lied that they were, you know, um, nothing was going on, you know, that was wrong, that we weren't, there was no system that was making us lose subs. Because during the fall, last fall, we've been, uh, a lot of channels, bigger channels, have been lo losing a lot of subscribers because of them uploading. And um, they told us that there's nothing wrong. But obviously there is something wrong. And because of this evidence uh, that was provided, and obviously I will provide a link to um, the original video to Keemstar, because maybe I didn't, um, you know, release everything quite exactly. So you can see more of an accurate thing from Keemstar, you can fact check my facts with his facts. You know, that was my problem, right? That was my problem that YouTube was like, lying to us. But another problem that that was brought up to me that I didn't really think about, because I said that like that wasn't a big deal, because you know, people can change the age, you know, be like, oh, I'm 13, but I'm I'm gonna put on the, uh, the YouTube algorithm or the, my YouTube channel to be 17, so I can watch whatever I want. Um, but it's not the viewers who are being affected, it's the, it's the fact that everyone on YouTube, the people who create content, they're gonna get affected by this in a big way. Because if they are making mature content or content that would be deemed as like a little adult and that like um, not a lot of kids can watch it, you're not gonna be put in the algorithm as much as you know other people who make really good content as in like you know kid friendly content, right? So this is very scary stuff, very scary stuff to say at least. But I wouldn't take full action on this because then again this evidence could prove something else besides the fact that maybe, just maybe that this could lead us to somewhere else, something even more bigger than the YouTube subgate. Uh, because practically what the what that is is just a rating system that YouTube has implemented where um, you know to see if you're a kid friendly channel or a teen friendly channel or a channel that makes uh, mature content. So I wouldn't say take action yet. Someone has said to me before that uh, in the comment from the last video that they wanted to start a, uh, a riot. It's not a riot but like more of a boycott. I wouldn't really start a boycott because for this kind of thing you can't really start a boycott because if a certain amount of viewers stop watching I don't think it would really affect YouTube as much as you would like to think so boycotting it would just be useless in my opinion. For me it's just best to forgive YouTube for what they've done. And what forgiving is, is not saying what they're doing is okay. Because in my opinion, what they're doing is not okay. Because making people unsubscribe um, from channels, you know, is not really a good thing. And um, not telling us about this is not really a good thing either. So I'm not saying that uh, whatever they're doing is uh, okay. And I'm not saying that um, what they're doing I will forget because... Forgetting about this also states that 
uh, whatever you did, it's fine. I'll forgive you for it. You know, I'll, I'll forget about everything and I'll, and I'll just, you know, let it slide. No, I'm saying is that like, I, when I say I'm going to forgive them, I'm saying that, um, I'm not going to let it hurt me as much because at first I was a little upset at the fact that this could be real. And now that I know that it's real, I accepted it and, um, not really, not as much as I was, um, you know, not offended, but like I wasn't really hurt. So I just decided to forgive them because what's the point of like, you know, being angry at YouTube, you know? So if I were you, I would forgive them as in that sense, instead of, you know, rioting and, you know, complaining over YouTube. Because like, if you're going to complain, that's not going to do anything, right? Because if you're actually going to do something, you know, do something, you know, send a uh, YouTube uh, video that you make because anyone can make a video, right? Just have a camera, boom, have some intelligent, um, you know, topics to talk about in one video, make it short, sweet, you got everything done. So, uh, if I were you, I would do that, but the YouTube age gate seems to be real to me. It seems to be a true fact, and um, the rating system um, will probably soon be in effect with every channel. So, I would be careful with that. Um, so, if I were you, I would maybe change the content that you're making, but if you're really, um, you know, hell-bent on making that content, go ahead, make that content. But just remember that your videos will not be recommended as much as you would like to. Um, even though that your content may have been like the best content you've ever created that it took you a long time to make Just remember that um, YouTube doesn't care YouTube only cares if it's kid-friendly or teen-friendly and mature and if uh, if you're ra if the rating is bad your, your content won't be suggested as much as others so keep that in mind so um, but as far as that that is all we know uh, to this point, YouTube has not come out and said that this is real. So until then, I this is the last video that I'm going to talk about in this video because I don't want to milk this too much because, you know, um, I like YouTube and I would like to talk about these things. But of course, people would s say a lot of things that would I would say, well, you don't know me and you wouldn't know um, that the reason why I'm making these videos because I really do care about this stuff. So, um, you know, this is going to be the last video. I promise you I'm not going to make another video. I was really hesitant to make this video. Uh, cause like, I don't know, like, if you want to listen to like the real facts, go listen to another channel. But, you know, I felt like I needed to say this just to finish it off. So, uh, well, thanks everyone for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you liked it, please give it a like, support the Red Guard. And this is Brian the Bold signing out. Stay bold out there. Ciao.